Well, this work comes out of um, my broader practice um, focusing on bringing together my love of being in nature, um, particularly walking in the landscape and the coastal environment, um, and then drawing and printmaking as a way of kind of connecting and, and revisiting that place from my studio in Canberra. Uh, so this work was inspired by a really special place on Ewan country or New South Wales south coast um, called Gorilla Bay. And it's just a place that's um, sort of a sheltered small bay um, with amazing rock formations where you're really at the threshold of those, those elemental forces of rock and water. Um, and sort of going out and standing on those really ancient uh, rocks, so 510 million years old, you've got the sense of, of endurance um, and putting your own life into perspective, um, the kind of interplay and interaction between the rock and, um, and the waves shaping each other over time. Um, so I wanted to try to capture the experience of being in that powerful place um, a beautiful place and a place um, where I spent time with my family in the last year of my mother's life. So somewhere that was quite um, emotionally charged and I wanted to convey that through the kind of the, the rich, deep kind of blue colours that I used, um, particularly thinking about Rebecca Solnit's book, um, A Field Guide to Getting Lost, that talks about the blue of distance, that sort of far away colour on the horizon that we can never quite reach um, and kind of embracing that that sort of vast expanse of, of space, um, of time, sort of thinking into the deep geological time and letting it become almost a, a third space that was, you know, somewhere in between the physical place and the emotional place somewhere that I was recreating over months um, in my Canberra studio. So for me this, this work's got some really strong personal connections like in the particular place and the site that I chose as, as a place that's like a touchstone for me that I can revisit um, over time but it's been amazing you know how many other people um, since exhibiting this work um, have approached me with, with their own connections and, and love of either this particular place of Gorilla Bay or that broader appreciation for, for the ocean, for the coast. Um, I think there's a sense of universal kind of allure um, that we have for this kind of edge, um, really that, that unknowable uh, expanse of, of sort of the ocean, the, the elements, um, hopefully it can help to sort of immerse people in that experience. So it's all designed in relation to the scale of my body, um, the mark of my finger that has wiped away these, these small white marks with a cloth, um, just a chuck swipe around my finger. Uh, so I guess that sort of physical presence, but then also the large scale that will dwarf you if you're um, standing beside this work as uh, just, you know, a suggestion of, of how kind of dwarfed we can be when immersed in um, the natural environment. Uh, so I created this work um, using a watercolour monotype process. So it's a very simple printmaking process where I'm essentially painting watercolour onto a plastic um, printing plate and then I'll soak the paper, so in this case I've used nine separate sheets of paper to achieve a, a work of this size. Um, I've soaked them and then I'll put them through an etching press, so the combination of the sort of strong pressure of the etching press and the damp paper lifts the watercolour off the plastic plate and transfers it to the paper. Um, so it's a process where you just get one print. Sometimes there's also a ghost which has like a bit of faded residual ink left on the plate, but unlike other printmaking methods, there's no addition um, and no permanent uh, kind of carved or engraved block. So I just like the technique because um, I can achieve effects that I can't if I was painting straight onto paper, like being able to wipe directly back to white um, with a wet cloth or being able to get really fluid um, dripping effects like I've used up in the sky to create that
sort of stormy atmosphere. So the feeling of winning the, the National Work on Paper Prize uh, was amazing, just like a, quite a, a pleasant surprise, um, really blown away by the support of um, Mornington Peninsula Regional Gallery and the judges, and um, appreciative of what it will mean uh, for my practice, but also just honoured to be uh, exhibiting alongside so many artists that I respect and to see the great variety of works that are on display here in the gallery.